The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. An argument arose among the disciples about which of them was the greatest. Jesus realized the intention of their hearts and took a child and placed it by his side and said to them, Whoever receives this child in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. For the one who is least among you is the one who is the greatest. Then John said in reply, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to prevent him because he does not follow in our company. Jesus said to him, do not prevent him, for whoever is not against you is for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'd like to talk about uh, today's saint. Usually the uh, name St. Vincent de Paul is associated with uh, the poor and service to the poor. St. Uh, Vincent, Frenchman, was born in 1581, was born poor uh, into a peasant family. And he used religion. And he used the priesthood to get out of his poor state and advance himself in life. That's not a good thing to do. It's a bad thing to do. He started off his vocation poorly. In fact, his poor father, peasant, uh, came to the place where uh, Vincent was studying for the priesthood and he refused to see him because he didn't want to be seen with somebody in, you know, a peasant uh, dressed in his normal way. And uh, upon uh, his ordination as a very young man, he obtained for himself a position of chaplain to a wealthy family and tutoring their children. And because of his uh, very charming uh, personality, uh, Vincent uh, went very easily among the, um, uh, the elite of uh, Paris, uh, wealthy people who showered Vincent with a lot of gifts. But the Lord's eye was on St. Vincent and Paul, and he knew of what St. Vincent was capable. And uh, he was called to hear the confession of poor man who lived on the estate of the wealthy family he was working with. And when he heard the confession so sincere and humble and desperate, Vincent really for the first time recognized the the great call that he had as a priest and began to take things more seriously. And the Lord led him to uh, give great service, in fact, his whole life, to the poor and to the formation of clergy. And he used some of that charm for the sake of the poor, himself taking a promise of poverty himself. He used that charm to get some of the wealthiest people in Paris to acknowledge, serve, and give money to the poor. No matter what our start is, even if we're old, we have a deeper conversion. God's eye is on us. He wants to convert us more deeply. There's some part of our life, some department somewhere 
in our soul not completely given over to God. He desires that. And St. Vincent de Paul, uh, this morning on his feast day, is an encouragement to turn everything over to the Lord, to be even more deeply converted to him. Please stand.